Hi everybody, hope you're well. Thanks for clicking on my channel. Uh, firstly, get the uh, housekeeping out of the way. If you like the video, please give it a massive thumbs up. And I'd very much appreciate it if you would uh, just click on the subscription button and subscribe to my channel. That would be lovely. I think we're just over uh, 1,100 uh, subscribers and climbing. So what are we talking about today? Well, as you know, I'm doing a series of vlogs in relation to the continued ownership uh, of my 890R, which I, I've had for a couple of months now, doing a warts and all uh, series of vlogs. If you want to click on the uh, card up here, uh, that will take to the, uh, I think it's 11 other videos that I've done so far to date, and we're just uh, about the 21st of June uh, at the moment. So through the post a couple of days ago, uh, a box from Evotech arrived, and basically it's just a box containing the rear and the front axle bobbins in case the bike goes down on the road it just gives it a little bit more protection i haven't as yet ordered the frame protectors uh, that will be the next thing i do but i've just got to sort of drip feed parts into the bike so that the, the wife who's upstairs uh, doesn't see how much money i'm spending on accessories on the bike which is uh, i'm sure that's the same for some of the other chaps out there as uh, well so yeah nicely presented uh, from evotech um and nicely wrapped etc i've used evotech before in fact there's a a radiator guard on the uh, ktm already uh my previous bike uh, cbr 1000 rr fire blade uh yeah that had a load of evotech stuff on there slightly more expensive maybe than other similar products on the market, but I'm a great believer in you get what you pay for. So that's the reason I'm staying with uh, Evotech. So without further ado, uh, this is not a how to fit the bobbins. It's uh, why I bought them, because I like them, and what I think of them, how easy they are to fit on the bike behind me. So uh, so yeah, um, so uh, without further ado, uh, let's see uh, what they look like on the bike, and then I'll tell you how easy they were to fit. Well, I'm really pleased to report that this was literally a five minute job. Yeah, five minutes to fit the uh, rear and the front axle bobbins. Uh, one thing of note, though, when you do fit them, having in follow, having followed the downloadable PDF instructions from Evotech, you'll find that, as they do say, these bits uh, do rotate, which is what they're supposed to do. Uh, but the axle, uh, the bobbin axle and the locking nuts, uh, they don't move uh, whatsoever. So any handy hints or tips? So yeah, basically it is a five minute job, which is always uh, uh, added bonus on my book. So I've used my torque wrench with a 13 mil socket on the end of it, uh, talking them up to uh, eight Newton meters for both the front and the rear. And obviously you've got a uh, nut on this side and then a nut on the other side and you need something to uh, secure the nut as you do uh, this one up to eight Newton meters. Uh, I didn't have two, two 13 mil sockets so i've just used a, a fixed bar whatever that's called with a half inch uh, socket on the end of it so that stops the other end uh, spinning around as you're trying to do it up so the only other thing is you've got uh, different um, spacers uh, for either side for the front and the rear and it's fairly obvious uh, which side which size and which hole those spacer nuts or those spacers go into so all in all it definitely is a five minute job very easy to do and a uh, big thumbs up for me, it looks pretty good. Um, and at some point in the not too distant future, I will be ordering some uh, frame protectors from Evotech and they'll be fitted on the bike uh, as and when I get those. So hope it's been of interest to you. As ever, if you like the video, thumbs up would be lovely. Uh, leave any comments in the comments section below. Um, and as always, ride safe, uh, stay safe, and we'll see you again soon. Take care for now, bye.